Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back for the start of the quarterfinal round. Yes, we are well, we're really getting into it now, aren't we? Starting off the quarterfinal with some enticing matches to look forward to. So yes, two matches in this session and then two matches in part two. In this set, in this video, we are going to see Diddy Darius going up against our host Stranger Gamer. And then we will see LP Gozzi going up against Xeno Slick Goku. So yeah, exciting matches coming up. If you if you love tournament videos, leave a like, subscribe, check out my past tournaments as well. We, yeah. I won one of them. <laughs> but yes, enough about that. Let's get on with our first matchup. One I'm really looking forward to. Right, Dio in the red corner for Diddy Diddy Darius. We've got a Gigant Spinosaurus. This is going to be an enticing matchup because. Neither one of us has a clear type advantage. Like, I mean, you could say Deinonychus with a secret move over Tank Tech there, but there's no clear advantage, so this could go either way. And it wouldn't be a surprise if the winner of this matchup goes all the way to the final. So I hope it's me. <laughs> But yeah, again, you know, I've said it from the, pretty much from the start. Did he, Darius? Dark horse in this tournament. One of the combatants, I think, can win. Can go all the way. I think I've just given him the kiss of death. Oh, we start with a tie. A tie there. Could be an even match, this could be. Oh, another tie. Oh, what a start! What a start from the Mega Raptor! Getting that tornado toss off straight away. <laughs> Push! Oh, and a cyclone as well. One nil lead looks likely now for our host. A, a strong start. Well, a perfect start, pretty much. Ooh, no! Diddy Darius does get a hit back. That could be a crucial hit there. The light recovery and defense boost to come as well. Which should put the Gigant Spinosaurus... Okay, maybe not. Maybe with a defense boost it could tank a rock or a scissor, but definitely not a crit. And speaking of crits, the rock roller's been triggered. And the rock roller's been activated. Well, this turned around quick, didn't it? After a tornado toss from the hosts. Dilly Darius coming back strong and taking a 1 0 lead. Wow. How fortunate how fortunate was that? Like the odds they were in my favour because of the cyclone, but Dilly Darius got a crucial hit there. Could that be crucial going into in deciding the final outcome? Well, let's see what the wild child has to say about that. Yes, it is the Kalmarosaurus. And it's going to need to perform here, especially in Diddy Darius' second dino, which is a Margosaurus. Which is the one I fear the most, because of that Futaba cannon. Oh, oh, oh. It is a tie. No ocean panic, though. Could have done with it. Oh, we'll take another tie, though. Takes out the Gigant Spinosaurus and evens the score. Right, now use the big threat for Diddy Darius. The MVP for his team, a Magasaurus. As I say, he gets off a Futaba cannon, it's game over. Well, the camera will die. If he gets off on the Deinonychus, then I'm in big trouble. But if we get tie spam, then I'm good to go. Oh, it's a crit! At least it's not Futaba Cannon. And at least it's not Crisis Type or the Final Fury Attack Boost shenanigans. But how big could that crit be? Oh, the Kama gets off a crit of his own. It's a softening beam. That could help our host go back in this. Softening up the Amargosaurus there, but again, Amargosaurus thrives on low health. Oh, there, 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 there goes Kama. <laughs> Down goes the Kama. 
Yeah, it, it might have survived if it got if it if it went for attack boost. But now a maxed up Amargosaurus now, and it has the Futaba cannon triggered, and it's getting on low health as well. This Deinonychus has to kill Amargosaurus quick, otherwise we are going to see our hosts get dumped out of the tournament. Oh, please don't be paper. Please don't be paper. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm waving the white flag here. I, I said it, this Amargosaurus needs to die. <laughs> oh, poor Deinonychus. It's not even crisis. Oh my god. Wow. I mean, it's maxed up with a tap boost, so yeah. Take that into account, but yeah. Oh. Um. Well. That was kind of quick, wasn't it? But yes, it is Diddy Darius through to the semi final round, and our hosts bow out at the quarter final stage. And it's all thanks to Amargosaurus. Guess who's getting banned next tournament? I know what I know what'll cheer me up. I'll go on to Jurassic World Evolution 2, release a hundred Amargosaurus, and watch them get massacred. That makes me feel better. Right then, enough about our matchup. That was really quick. Like how many hits was that? Like only like three or four hits from both of us. Like yeah, but again, he, the uh, did he got lucky with the crits? Okay, yeah, that's that's enough sobbing about that first matchup, which we will like to erase from our memories for the rest of existence. On to our second quarterfinal matchup of this session, and that is LP Gozzi going up against Zeno Slick Goku. Alrighty then, in the red corner for LP Gozzi, we have got Terry. But let's be honest, whoever wins this match isn't going to beat Diddy Darius. <laughs> Yeah, I, I am actually thinking that Diddy Darius is going to win this tournament. And I think it's going to be him and Ultimate in the final. And Ultimate... And the Alpha Acro is going to get one-shotted by Futaba Ganon. <laughs> I bet people were paid to see that. Right, as for Xenoslip Goku, in the blue corner, we got a Pentaceratops. This Pentaceratops did indeed defeat Terry in the anime. But this Terry... Well, it's kind of been a bit of a letdown in the knockout rounds. I've done too much. In the early days of the tournament, it was sweeping teams aside. His mighty mouth was able to consume the opposition's team. What Gozzi would do? What Gozzi would do now to get a three 0 win in this situation? Oh, well, he's getting. Well, he gets the first hit. But the Penta gets the crit. Boosh. Light recovery to come next. Well, we see Deathfire. Oh, no. But Gozzi gets a hit. And that sound means that this hit's going to do more damage. Because it's Terry's reform type. Oh, oh. It's a tag team. Terry getting another hit. Tag team helping Terry in the anime, but this time he's got to fight the Papasaurus. Ooh, we got our tie. No eat eruption, no ties do favor Terry. No, I'm not there. Oh, there's another hit from Terry. Is this Pentaceratops dead? Nope, but it's pretty close. Ooh, take the Ceratops, get another head off. Not done yet, Zeno. Well, that's kind of a waste, isn't it? <laughs> Watch Gozzi get it off now. Yeah, he gets it. Oh, oops. Shoot. Yeah, he gets off a death fire. I mean, Pentacer is a waste, but it's good to see. 
It's good to see, but it's completely wasted. Right, as for Xeno Slick Goku's second dino is Karanosaurus. Terry is on really low health, so he doesn't have to worry about heat eruption, but he does have to worry about Terry getting cheeky little hits up, so... Next hit could be crucial. If Gozzy gets it, then he could start to pull away. If Zeno gets it, then he's right back in this. Oh, well, that'll do for Zeno. Gets rid of Terry and evens the school. Yeah. Looking back to the first match. No, I'll talk about it at the end. Right, for the Gosman second I know it is Alpha Acro Canthosaurus. Now this Alpha Acro has been pretty good for Gos in this tournament. And in the knockout rounds as well. And it's got the protection of Dino Stuffer as well. Oh, oh, is it time? Damage coming. It's a blazed spin attack and is coming. Well, and it's heading Zeno's way. Whee! How big could that be? Although, Emerald Garden has been triggered, so Zeno can get back into this with an Emerald Garden. Oh, I've done it again. I keep doing Ali. Oh, well, no Emerald Garden. And it's a 2 1 lead for Gozzi and the semi final looms. Well, a semi-final exit to Diddy Darius looms. Because Amargosaurus is going to have a field day with them fire dinosaurs. Although, let's not count out Xeno yet. they still got this Sorrow Fagon Axe. And this thing can bring it back for him. Ah, oh, it's a cutie pie, isn't it? It's a cutie pie. Oh, oh, that's a tie. Ties will suit Gozzi down to the ground, though. Ooh. Oh, that's a Dino Stuffer. I always forget about Dino Stuffer, but that crit could have been just what Zeno needed. But the Dino Stuffer said no. Hmm. Yes, Gozzi has been in this situation before in the knockout rounds against Dino Nerd. And he couldn't finish the job. Can he finish it this time? Well, he finished the job in the end, but, you know, it ended in a draw. Oh, well, second time's the charm, they say. Here comes a fireball. Zeno, can they get back in this match? Oh, look at the damage. Right back in it. One hit to finish the job. Well, a tie will do it. Zeno slip Goku coming back into it. Right, now for Gozzi's third and final dino, we have a Kralophosaurus. I should point out that on the basis that these two have a fire dinosaur in their team, or in Gozzi's case, two, I feel like Diddy Darius is going to have a good chance of winning the semi final matchup because, well, Futaba can will probably one shot Sorofagonax, and it'll probably one shot Alpha Acro. Although, then again, the Alpha Acro does have the Dino stuff, so that could be key if, if Gozzi gets for it. Oh, it's a tie. Oh, we got a tie recovery there, the Cryo. We don't usually see that. Ooh, Gozzi might not be going through. Xeno Slick Goku coming back. And is now in the lead. Oh, wow, look at that. Busted. Is this, is this the end of Gozzi? Yes, it is. Well, I'll tell you what. They had a good run in this tournament. Got some good victories. And they did really well. So, a pat on the back for LP Gozzi. But, they are going to be eliminated at the quarterfinal stage. And there is Xeno Slick Goku coming from behind with his Sora Faganax to get to the semis. But don't think that's going to work against Diddy Darius. Because it's not. <laughs> Well, that was some exciting matches, weren't they?
Let's have a look at the table and we can end the session. Well, there is our first matchup of the semi-finals, ladies and gentlemen. It is Diddy Darius going up against Zeno Slick Goku. Neither of these two have made it this far before in my tournament, and one of them is going to be in the final. But who will it be? Like, my money's on Diddy Darius. I mean, I said it before the start of this match. Whoever wins this match will probably go to the final and probably win. <laughs> Honestly, against... Well, with no guarantee that Diddy will win this match, but say that they do... Which one of these four would be a, the worst matchup for it? Maybe Emmy because they have the Pentaceratops in second against the Amargosaurus, or it could be it could be Ultima. Well, Ultimate because obviously it's Ultima. Uh, Ratchet has Aloe in second. Has a T Rex, so probably no. Maybe Lauren with with the Paris Tector with the Paris against the uh, Gigant Spino. Out of this lot, probably Ratchet would be the best opponent for Diddy. But yeah, whoever whoever they get, whoever plays in the final, is going to be one cracking match. <laughs> Unless it's Diddy Darius with his one shot Amargosaurus. Yeah, I feel like the turning point for that match, this match, was definitely with the tornado toss getting off the cyclone, and the fact that Diddy got the next hit. Because if I had got the next hit, like against Spinosaurus, was dead, and then I would be able to hit it away at, Mar at Amargosaurus, and probably would have killed it with Kama which means he wouldn't have got off that big crit on the Deinonychus. So it would have still been in with a chance to win. But you know, that's how it goes. And yeah, that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for part one of the quarterfinals. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, leave a tribute for my tragic exit out of my own tournament. And until then, this is Strange Gamer, signing out.